All right, coming to you live from Santa Clara and the Cloud Foundry Summit. I'm here with Ray Coletti. And How's you're you're of Datadog. So what yes. do you do at Datadog? Uh, Datadog, I run the enablement team. So we help our, our clients make sure they're getting the full value out of Datadog uh, and everything is running smoothly. And so if folks say, hey, what's Datadog, what would you say? Yeah, Datadog uh, is an infrastructure monitoring platform making it as easy as possible to get data from wherever you have it in. Once you've got it there, you can visualize, collaborate, and correlate across it. So really uh, you know, team-centric, and we play nicely with everybody. So we're talking everything from AWS and Azure and Google Cloud uh, to physical machines, as well as, of course, Cloud Foundry, which is the summit we're at right now. Cool. And as we mentioned before, I talked to one of your founders about four years ago. And I'm sure things have changed quite a bit. How was, say, what you were doing at that point, and how is you, have you either pivoted or just continued to focus more on different things? Yeah, so that's a, that's a great question. There hasn't been uh, a pivot, but I think there have been changes in the industry that we have uh, added in terms of layers, in terms of what we do. So, you know, four years ago, I think we were maybe a 20-person company, and now we're around 400 people. Jeez, um, I did not know that. Yeah, yeah. This is a, uh, a good place to be in terms of the industry because... Uh, everyone is trying to figure out what the next step is, right? So there's containers and containerization, but it's okay. Once I have these independent little things, how do I actually monitor them? How do I know what's happening? So we're on the forefront of that as well. And that's kind of the direction that we've taken in, in the past four years, is making sure that whatever products our clients are using, we are able to adapt and pull in as well. And of course, there's quite a bit of functionality that's different. And, uh, but, but yes, I don't want to go down that road just yet. Yeah, so I guess that would make sense, because while, of course, there were containers four years ago, it wasn't containomania the Docker, uh, the Docker engender. Yep. So at, at, um, with Cloud Foundry, what exactly do you all do? Because of course they have containers, but it's more under the, under the covers. Yeah, that's a great question. So um, with, with Cloud Foundry specifically, right, uh, actually on their documentation for a long time, they had uh, described a way to send to Datadog via custom metrics, um, uh, kind of this uh, do-it-yourself, this, DI, this DIY way of getting uh, metrics from Cloud Foundry into Datadog. And just yesterday, we released our official Cloud Foundry integration. So you're able to install the Datadog agent onto a Bosch director. You're going to pick up all of your Bosch ID, jobs, names as tags. And then, of course, be able to reference uh, all those meaningful parts of your infrastructure, whether it's Diego and RSS memory or whatever the case may be. So really pulling it all together into one and making it out of the box smooth, which is always what we're going for. Ah, sweet. So obviously, as you said, data monitoring, kind of in the name, Datadog. Now, would you ever work with, uh, is there an integration with, uh, New Relic or App Dynamics, or is that completely? Uh, that's a great question. So, you know, we have uh, uh, integrations with a, a few other tools out there, which are thought of as as, as other monitoring tools, right? We have a Sumo Logic one. Uh, we have one for New Relic. We have one for Splunk, right? And the whole idea is that um, they are providing uh, another sort of service, right? Uh, we're not doing, um, you know, log ingestion in, in the terabyte way and then analysis. But if you have, if you're using Splunk for that and you're triggering alerts, you're going to be able to have those alerts in Datadog have your most meaningful, maybe your app deck score from your Relic in Datadog. Uh, because we integrate nicely with PagerDuty, Slack, VictorOps, all these other tools uh, which tie, you know, ServiceNow, Jira, they tie into your ability to communicate with your team and your workflows. Um, so you should, we believe you should have all that data coming here uh, in some form or another. Cool. And so uh, just to end with Datadog a year from now, what are some of the key things y'all are focusing on? Uh, we, we're focusing on a lot, right? We're trying to make our alerting even more robust. So we just released composite alerts, uh, which is something that we believe is unique to the industry. Uh, you know, doing some uh, Booleans, A and B alert, then, then escalate, treat this different level of criticality. So we're adding a lot on the alerting front. Uh, we're adding some new parts of the product that I can't talk about yet. you got to wait for those exciting things. I will, I will. Um, and, and then, of course, we're, we always focus... Um, on, on being able to uh, ingest more and more data. So we think that we're definitely a front runner on that for a SaaS product and we want to make sure that we stay there. So we do a lot of behind the scenes investments uh, as well. Cool, Ray Coletti, thanks so much. Thank you.